Hello and welcome to another video here at Movie Mash and today we're going to talk about the new movie Nobody. Nobody is a movie I've been waiting to see for a while since I saw the trailer and uh, without carrying on let's see what the review and see what I thought. So Nobody stars Bob Odenkirk which you may know from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, um, Connie Nelson mostly probably know from Gladiator and Christopher Lloyd yes Great Scott. Great Scott! So we follow the character Hutch, played by Bob Odenkirk. He's a, he's a, the average man, goes to a job, nine to five, quite mundane. He's on for field in it. Um, he goes home to his wife and he has two kids. And as his dinner, go to bed, next day work, same thing every day. And uh, even though he, he appreciates his life, you just on for field. It's not, well, it's not going the way he wants. He wished it was more, but Everyone seems to take the piss out of him um, because he comes across weak. You have all these people around him seem to go, oh, look how tough I am, oh, but you're not much. And they're probably not. But the thing is, there's one night that his house is being robbed and um, his son runs down to help. And he could have taken advantage of the situation, but he chose not to. And his son started seeing him in a, wasn't happy and thought he was weak and you didn't protect the family and it was quite hurtful to him and you could see it with the pain he suffered because of this but what happened is is in the meantime his daughter had some stuff was stolen and his daughter's kitty cat bracelet was taken and if you see on it's not a spoiler it's on the trailer and the problem with that is it was it was the straw that broke the camel's back and he just flipped that was it he was going out to, t to get the, the bracelet back and what happens next was great so as he goes out to get the bracelet back and cause havoc, he comes across a load of drunkard guys on a bus who was kind of a bit loud and a bit bullyish and they were taking the piss. And he felt like this was his opportunity to kick some ass and take his frustration out on them. And he kicks the shit out of them. But what I liked was is that he took quite a few hits too. He really took a good few hits, but he was kicking the shit. And he, I, I liked the fact that he, he felt he was a bit rusty. He was starting to get back into it. And uh, I thought it was a great scene. And when you see it, you'll love it. I'm gonna fuck you up. Now the problem with beating up those guys pretty badly and hurt them quite a lot, put some in the hospital, it, without going into too much detail, it seemed to have caused a problem because now people are after him. They were connected to some bigger people as they are and his family now in danger and as much as he's worried about him part of him is being revived this is his comeback and in the meantime we're learning that he used to work for some kind of secret organization and he's learned combat skills with guns knives fighting the lot and hand to hand and it all comes into play and yeah i love that now on the trailer it was perceived that the film was quite like John Wick and but it had a lot of it seemed to have some quite um, some funny funny elements in it but I will say that mm, it wasn't as many funny funny elements in it as I thought um, it was actually quite a serious film in the sense where uh, I know it's a popcorn flick uh, but it had you could see the sadness in him and it was it was quite dramatic it seems and yeah there wasn't as much comedy in it as I like not that I minded because I, I thought it was great now on to positives um, the fight scenes were great. All the fight scenes were great. The choreography was great. And it turns out that Bob Odenkirk trained for two years. Two years to, um, to get ready for this film. Now, apparently he had some previous experience with being robbed and it came into play and one of the reasons why he wanted to do this part. But he he done a really good job. You can see he worked really hard at it. Along with the fight scenes, the action, all the shooting, all the, the guns, the knives, everything it was all great loved every scene brilliant now you're going to hear me say john wick a lot in the next few minutes because it's the best way i can describe this film is john wick meets falling down you know and um it's it, yeah it's kind of takes it's a bit of a rip off of uh, john wick in a good way um but what i will say is uh, maybe i should get into negatives about it which isn't really a negative but what i was going to say is is that if there was more funny elements in it, it may have kind of taken it away from the John Wick kind of look about it. 
um, it would have separated it a little bit more from John Wick. But again, like I'm not gonna moan. So it, I liked all of it. I didn't find any problems. I'm just saying, if people are moaning about oh it's too much like John Wick, then I think the comedy element could have taken it away from it a bit. But that's okay. So the pacing was really good. I loved the pacing. Um, it didn't get boring at all. There was a bit of a build up to the first fight. Like I said, I'm talking about John Wick again. That uh, that was pretty much straight away the fighting at the start. But we had a bit of a build up to the fight, which it, I liked. And in between each action scene, we did get a bit of a breather, a bit of more story going on. And I'm glad of that because after a while, if you see too much action going on for too long, it can get a bit, uh, drag on a little bit. So no, the pacing was really good on this. It's been a hell of a day. You can see that. On to another positive. Bob Odenkirk carried this film great. It turns out he's a great leading man. Now, I've only ever seen him on Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, and I see him on a season of um, Fargo, which he wasn't the main character. He was just uh, in it, in the background. But um, I love Better Call Saul. It is, it's a great show, and I am actually can't wait for the next season as it, um, the last one ended on a cliffhanger. But anyway, as I said, he's a, great, he's a great leading man, and I'm hoping to see him in other stuff to see what else he can do. But he's got... His character is really good. He's got a great character on this and I, I just love him. Michael Ironside was on this and I was surprised to see him. I would say though it was more of a cameo and uh, was, I would like to have seen him more but because I haven't seen him in years. I don't know about you guys and if you have comment below and let me know what he's been on. And also we have Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd was really good on this. Again, I haven't seen him in anything in years. I, or if he's been on, I haven't noticed it. And his character's really good on this, and he has a good role and a good part. Uh, he gets really involved in some of the action, and I thought he was just gonna be sitting there in the background, another cameo when I saw in the trailer. No, he gets involved, and he's great. The music was good, it carries the film along. It was nothing special, but it, it, it was decent enough, and I'm not gonna moan about it, so I'm gonna say that as a positive. Now, on to negatives. Um, the story was somewhat generic. We've seen this kind of story before, but sometimes it's not always about the, the story. It's how we get from A to B on that generic story and A to B. So this negative is a bit of a positive where the story from A to B was really good. But again, generic story, nothing special, negative. Now, another negative is, is that the main villain on this movie is pretty much generic. I mean, he does a good job and you dislike him, he does what he's supposed to do. It's just he was nothing particularly special and it was just generic, but again, it's about the Bob Odenkirk Hutch's uh, journey from A to B, like I said. So again, I don't mind. So that's all the negatives I have about this. So that's good, not many. This film feels like it could be in a John Wick universe. Um, as he's a nobody and probably end up with the other nobody. Ooh, the fucking nobody? That fucking nobody is John Wick. Never know, we might see that one day. I'm not bothered, I liked it. I know it's a silly kind of popcorn movie, but I mean, don't read too much into it. And I hope there's a sequel to this. I don't normally think I uh, like I want sequels, but I hope there is. I like to flesh out the character and his wife and family and more of his background. I wouldn't mind seeing that. I think I'd enjoy it if it's as good as this one. So Bob Odenkirk, great character, as I said. But what I liked was, is I thought was quite funny, is that as soon as everyone heard in the underworld, oh, uh, Hutch was after them, they all freaked out. And like, he must have had some serious reputation soon as people heard that his name they was like <laughs> so my final thought is if you like this kind of film if you like a bit of a turn your brain off action type film like john wick and other kind of things then this is the film for you and i personally i love this film and i'm gonna give this two thumbs up it's no show or shank as i said but please go and give it a try if this is your thing i think you'll love it now I want to know, has anyone else seen this and did you like it as much as I have or did you hate it? Are you looking forward to seeing it? Please let me know in the comments below and like normal, like and subscribe. But for now and until next time.